seated in an ordinary chair. You want to make sure your back is nice and straight, lifting up as tall as you can. You want the tummy pulled in nice and tight, shoulders back and relaxed, and where possible, your feet firmly on the floor so you're in a nice, stable position. You also want to keep your head up, looking forward throughout, and relaxed. When seated in a wheelchair, it's similar to being in an ordinary chair. Again, you need to keep yourself nice and tall and as upright as you can. Tummy squeezed in tight, shoulders back and relaxed, and your feet firmly placed in your footrest or on the floor if you're not using the footrest. Again, try and keep nice and relaxed and keep the head upright and forwards. When using a football, again, posture is exactly the same. You need to keep your tummy pulled in tight, as straight a back as possible, shoulders back and relaxed and facing forwards. However, during the movements, you will have to control the momentum of the ball. So as you're coming up and down, you will be working your upper legs and to help to keep that stability, keep that core area nice and tight. Right, so our first move that we start off with is a gentle march. So we're going to bend our elbows in just a standard marching posture. We want to keep our tummy in tight. Our shoulders are back and they're as relaxed as we can be. Now as we use this move to progress a little bit more, we're going to bring the hands into it as well. So as we bring the arms up, we're going to clench the hands and extend them out on the move. So we clench and release those fingers and that will lengthen the move. It'll increase the amount of energy that go into it, and it'll make it a little bit harder. So the next move we're going to do is a shoulder lift. Again, nice and tall and upright. We want to keep our arms as straight as we can, and we want to squeeze the shoulders up to the ears and back down. So this is just a gentle, rhythmic move. Again, when we want to make this a little bit bigger, we're going to squeeze up, we're going to push the arms right down and up. And that's making it a much bigger move. So the next move is our kickbacks. Again, we keep a tall, upright posture, tummy in tight, keep the arms as straight as you can and the fingers extended, and we push the arms back and in. What we don't want to do is relax too much and lean forwards. We want to try and keep the back nice and straight, pushing back. As we progress this move, we can lift up a little bit taller, and also to make it a little bit harder, we can bring the arms forwards and push back. So that part we'll use a little bit later on when we progress in that move. So the next move we're going to do is the shoulder circle. Again, we're keeping tall and upright. We're going to bend the arm so we've got the elbow bent. And imagine you've got a pencil on the end of that elbow and you're trying to draw a circle. So you're going to lift the elbow up, pull it back, down and round. Keep the shoulder relaxed as you're doing it and take it round, pulling back and again. If we demonstrate that on the other side now, so take the other arm, lift it up and round. You'll see where I've got my hand on the hip. When you're moving at tempo, this just helps you to focus that move and keep your posture nice and tall. Okay, our next move is a front raise. And for this, we're going to take our arms forwards. We want to lift them up roughly to head height and back down. Again, all these moves, we want to keep our shoulders relaxed and just keep the arms as straight as you can. On this move, to make it bigger, we push the arms forward. So we're not just lifting them up, we're reaching forwards as well and back down.
Right, so the next move we're going to do is going to be our hugs. And that's where we're going to rotate the shoulder joints. So we'll bring our elbows into the sides. We want to clench the hands into a light fist. And we're going to cross them over and extend them back out and cross them over. Now, as we're doing this move, we want to alternate the cross. So we'll take the one arm over. And as we bring it out, we're going to change it. So the other arm goes over. And we want to keep the elbows in as tight as we can, so all we are moving is the top of that shoulder joint. So our next move is a twist. And for this, we're going to just be rotating to the middle of our body as much as possible. If you've got spinal issues with regards to control, then use the shoulders a little bit to twist around, or you can turn your head. Otherwise, bring the arms up at shoulder height with the elbows bent, squeeze the tummy in tight, keep the head and shoulders facing forward, and then gently rotate out to a comfortable place, and then come back in, out the other side, and back in. We'll do that one again. Focus on keeping the tummy pulled in nice and tight, Keep it nice and upright, and back it again, and bring the arms down. Our next move is rolling out, and that's similar to a wheelchair push. So again, keep nice and tall, tummy in tight, and we're going to push forwards as if we're going around the wheel, so we're pulling up at the back with the shoulders, pushing the arms forward in that nice circular motion. Next move we're going to do is our kayaks. And that's where we've got a paddle in our hands, so we want to keep both the hands together as if we are holding onto a paddle. Again, we're nice and tall. We're going to dig the paddle in the water. Two on this side. We'll change over and two on the other side. So again, you want to keep that tummy in nice and tight. Imagine the resistance of the water as you're pushing through. So our next move is the sunshine. We pop the hand on the hip to help focus the move. We take our one arm and we press it out in a circular motion, pull it back in and push out again. Changing sides, out, back in and out again. Again, keep nice and tall throughout and keep a nice fluid movement. Our next move is the trav line, and for this we need a nice tall posture. We're going to take our arms out on an angle, so we'll take our one arm up, and the other arm we take down. So we bring them in and out, in and out, changing the angle. We'll come in, change up into the opposite diagonal, and again, nice long So our next move is a ski. Imagine you're on the slope, you've got your skis on and you've got your sticks in your hands. So you lean slightly forward, you want to keep the back fairly straight, tummy pulled in tight. You grab the sticks in your hand, dig them into the ground, pushing back. And again, imagine that resistance as you're pushing through. Our next move is the shoulder squeeze. So we'll bring our arms up at chest height. We pull back with the elbows to squeeze the shoulder blades and then bring them forwards. Again, keep nice and tall, tummy pulled in tight.
And next, move with bells. And imagine you're grabbing hold of a rope, and you've got that bell in front of you. Grab with both hands, pull it down, pull in the arms apart and out. Back up, grab again, and pull out again, keeping that tummy nice and tight. Nice, gentle, fluid move. Okay, the next move we're going to do are punches, and we're going to show you all four angles that we do with this punch. The first one we do is punching up, so we take the arm up, reaching up as high as we can, bring it down, changing sides. So punching up, lifting the body up nice and tall. We'll also do some punches to the sides, where we take the arm out to the side, back in, punch out with the other arm, and back in again, punching out. And then we also take them diagonal. So we'll take them down across our knees, down to the sides, back in, out again. And this is where if you've got spinal control, you can do a little bit of a rotation as well to emphasize that move. And then the final one is punching forwards. So we bring them forwards, roughly at sort of chest, shoulder height, taking the arms forward, trying not to lock the elbow. So our next move are jacks. So we're going to bend our elbows, and we want to pull up with the elbows, keeping the shoulders relaxed, and then back down. So we pull up and down, nice and easy. So the final move we've got is a push down. And imagine you've got a bouncing ball on the floor and you're trying to push down on it. As you're pushing down, bend the elbows and flex up and down in the shoulders so you get that nice up-down momentum and keeping again the tummy pulled in tight throughout. 